In this video, I will show you how to use the compositor in Blender, which enables you to improve your images after you have rendered them in Blender. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. To set up the compositor is quite simple. You just drag the top right corner, and then let's go into solid view, and then I'm going to go to the compositor, and then enable the notes, and then before we play around with the different nodes, we can go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then make sure to enable the Node Wrangler, because uh, that add-on is going to be very useful for our node setups. So uh, start off by pressing N, and then we can drag the Composite node, and then press Shift-A, and then add the view node so that we can see what we're working with. And then before we connect it, we can hold in shift and right click drag. And then we can use that connection for the view node as well. And then next, we of course need an image to edit. So we can get that by rendering an image. So uh, render image. And after a few minutes of rendering, we have the image. And when we enable the backdrop, you can now see the rendered image. And by pressing V, you can zoom out. And by pressing Alt V, you can zoom in. You can also drag it by holding in Alt and uh, using the middle mouse button. You can also edit the size by left-clicking and dragging the uh, corner. Okay, so now we have the image set up. So now we can start adding the different filters and nodes. So uh, press Shift A, and then let's start off with a uh, simple hue saturation node. And this one enables us to edit the colors of the uh, image. So as you can see, we can make it more saturated. And then you can also change the colors by using the hue value and the value itself. And if you press F12, you will see that we render the image and then get the compositing at the end. Okay, and then we can try some other nodes. So you can select the node and then press Control X to delete it and keep the connection. And then we can add a uh, denoise node. In this case, I already have the denoising on, so it's not really necessary. But if you have a lot of noise, that node might be useful. We can also use the hue correct node, which enables us to edit the colors for uh, just certain colors, instead of changing the hue saturation for all of the different colors. And then next, we can try out the Glare node, which many use for uh, sci-fi renders. As you can see, it gives you very cool effects. And you can change the intensity and the type of Glare. Okay, so uh, let's select this node once again and press Ctrl X. And we can also use the Lens Distortion node, which enables you to distort the image. And then you can also flip the image by adding the Flip node. And then you can, of course, combine multiple nodes by putting them next to each other. And then if you want to add a custom image and edit it, you can just add the image input and connect it. And that's it. Thank you for watching and subscribe.